Oh, hey, what's up? I heard you're doing some Turkish get-ups, so let's go over Turkish get-ups. Now, when you're doing these, you want to be sure that you hit every single position. Turkish get-ups remind me a lot of weightlifting. If you miss one of the positions, it can throw everything off. Now, when you're doing a light weight, you can get away with having bad positions, just like weightlifting. But as the weight gets heavy, any little just wiggle could bring that weight crashing down. So let's make sure we can hit every single position and do it well on the way up and on the way down. Whatever weight you're using, I try to pretend when I'm doing Turkish get-ups that it's really heavy always. So I like to start the exact same way I would. I don't just grab it and throw it up. So I start on my back and I bring the weight here next to my chest. And I use my other hand and I bring it to my chest and I squeeze real tight and then I push it up. Then from here, it is going to be the same leg as the leg that you're using for your arm. That's step one. Step two happens by engaging your core. You're going to push up and onto your forearm. Or here, squeeze your tummy and push up onto the forearm. All right, that's step one. Step two, you're gonna push up to the hand. And the whole time you're looking up at the dumbbell. So push up to the hand, look up at the dumbbell. Now from here, we're gonna do a glute bridge. And we're gonna squeeze our butt so tight and we're gonna hold the top of the glute bridge. Also, this shoulder here on the ground, we don't wanna have our shoulder in our ear. We wanna be pushing away from the floor and we're gonna get that glute bridge as high as we can. Push, 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 keep looking. Our hand, this hand, and the hand on the ground should be in line. From here, you're gonna bring this knee down. So now, this dumbbell to my other hand are in line, my tummy squeezed and my eyes are looking up. From here, I'm going to transition into an overhead dumbbell lunge by squeezing my tummy and coming up. And I'm still looking up. From here, you can have a neutral gaze because you're usually pretty comfortable in this position and we're in this lunge. From here, all that's left to do is to lunge up and continue driving up into the dumbbell. Boom. From here, we do, the, we do everything we just did in reverse. Right leg comes down, control. Now this part is tricky, especially on the way down as the weight gets heavy. You're gonna look up and your hand's gonna go down to the floor. Boom. From here, we're gonna bring the leg across and get into a nice, tall glute bridge. Glute bridge, nice and tall. And then we're gonna bring the butt down and now we're on the hand. Then we're gonna come back down to the forearm and then we're gonna slowly bring it down to the back and you can catch the dumbbell here, set it down. And you just perform yourself a perfect Turkish get up. I paused intentionally in each one of those positions so you understand where you should be pausing and where the dumbbell should be, where your head should be, where your hands should be. So take these very slow, start with really light weight and work up to something challenging. And once you get to that challenging weight, you're gonna see what I'm talking about when going heavy is, it's so important to hit those positions. It's pretty awesome. Turkish get ups are really good for your core. Have fun doing Turkish get ups. Whoosh.